There she is. There she is. She's right here. She face down at it. She's eyeballing it hard. She's not moving off the bed, so that's good. She's coming to you. She's coming to you. Move it to her. Got, got her. her. Got her. Got good her. one. You kick her, buddy. That was awesome, dude. Told you it's a good one. Nice, dude. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips. So I just got here to Foothills Family Campground in Forest City, North Carolina. I'm right on the border of South Carolina. I drove in through the Smoky Mountains from Tennessee. Absolutely gorgeous drive. I mean, just incredible. But this place is also gorgeous. Uh, it's family owned, as the name implies. I met the owner last night. I got in real late, 9.30 at night. He stayed up late to come get me, uh, help me get backed in. I didn't even know I was coming here till yesterday morning. My other plans fell through, so it was super last minute, but he was extremely accommodating. Super nice guy, uh, just really cannot say enough about him. And I also met his son, Matt, last night, who happens to be a big time bass fisherman. So this is gonna be my home base for the next two weeks. I'm gonna be fishing both North Carolina and South Carolina and knock both those off my list. And Matt has agreed to take me out on his boat tomorrow to do a little fishing at Moss Lake, right nearby here, which he's gonna help me kind of figure out the bass, figure out the pattern, figure out what these fish are doing. And then next week, I'm gonna be fishing with Brooks Betty, a good buddy of mine. We're gonna be hitting two different rivers, the Catawba River and the Broad River. So lots of good content coming up, guys. Largemouth bass, spotted bass, smallmouth bass. We're gonna be hitting them all. The weather is gorgeous. It is about 70 degrees, sunny. I'm stoked. So this is gonna be a killer place for me to stay for the next two weeks. Knock both these states off my list. So I'll catch you guys in the morning when we meet up with Matt, get out on his boat, and go try to catch some of these bedding bass. Alright guys, so we just got here to Moss Lake, uh, about to back the boat in. Matt, what do you think we're going to be catching today? We're definitely going to catch some spotted bass. Um, might catch some largemouth. If we're going to catch largemouth, we'll be on the beds. On the beds. So Matt was telling me that uh, it was just the full moon on Saturday. That should have pushed a lot of these bass to get up on bed. The ones that aren't should be feeding pretty aggressively, kind of pre-spawn pattern. But they're just on the verge of bed, uh, bedding down. So should be able to get on them and hopefully up shallow. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm over here hung up in the tree. Matt's catching fish. <laughs> Not a bad one. Decent little guy, it looks like. Oh yeah, solid. We'll catch him like this all day. Is that a spot or a large? That's a spot. Spotted bass. What'd you get him on? Shaky head. Nice. That's a good sign. Start figuring something out. He got famous. He was kind of fishing. Nice, right? Little guy on the crankbait. Is that a spot? spot i can tell pretty easy when they're bigger like the color's different they always got like a little more like kind of gold in yeah. them they've got a real small mouth compared to yeah the bass mouth. that's right nice little guy right at the boat what was that on crankbait crankbait that craw crank that craw powder nice dude another solid one spotted right yeah it's spotted bass tons of spotted bass in here super aggressive that one hit it right under the boat figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Matt is putting on a clinic. I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs, I guess. This little guy. I will take it. Got one on board. <laughs> Wearing out the studs here on Moss Lake. <laughs> hey, just better than that. Yep. Only one way to, well, I say that. I could always go downhill from there. <laughs> They do get smaller. It's good though. Just need to build up a little confidence. 
That's hooked up again. What was that on? Shaky head. Is it a decent fish? Looks like it's fighting. Nah, he's small. He's just got some attitude. <laughs> Pulling, dude. Little guy. That's solid, dude. It's all right. Matt is continuing to show me how it's done. Another spotted bass. You got the spots dialed in. Uh, have I had the only largemouth today? Yeah. <laughs> At about six inches. <laughs> Better fish. Not a monster, but significantly bigger than my last one. <laughs> Little spot, right? Oh. Well, that right there is the first spotted bass I have caught in a while like years i would say yeah a little spotted bass first one i've caught in a long time not much bigger than my first one but they are getting a little bit bigger that's sad when that one that's an upgrade <laughs> good one good you want to grab the net Nice largemouth. Oh yeah, solid dude. Ah, nice. It's a little better. Nice dude. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. You think it was on bed or maybe she's just she's, in here getting ready? She's just in here cruising. Nice dude, on the wacky Senko. Dude, solid fish. Solid three pounder. Putting on a clinic. He said, ah, oh, that'll be the only fish back up in here and then next cast sticks another one. Oh, it is a good one, dude. That's on the wacky too? On the wacky. Good nice. female. Yeah, they're definitely getting ready to spawn up in here. Well, if they're gonna be back. In this kind of stuff, yeah. yeah. She, he like stunned her you set the hook so hard. <laughs> nice, he called it, he was like, that, that might be a bed right there. There she is, she's right here. She faced down at it. She's eyeballing it hard. She's not moving off the bed, so that's good. She's coming to you. She's coming to you. Move it to her. Got, got her. Got her. Got good her. one. Got her. Nice. <laughs> nice. So much fun, man. <laughs> good. Nice one. There we go. Nice. First uh, bed fish of the day for Rob. Uh, tons of fun. I mean, basically, if you've never fished for uh, bass when they're on the bed, they're essentially not eating. They're just biting anything that gets on their bed. They basically, they fan it out with their tail, clear a little area that they can lay their eggs. And then anything that gets on there, a crawfish, anything at all, bluegill, anything that's messing with it, they'll grab it, spit it off the bed, or grab it, eat it, whatever, uh, just to kind of keep their area tidy. So it's really frustrating watching them grab it and spit it out or watch them look at it. But uh, a ton of fun if you stick with it. Not a very big one, not nearly as big as the ones Matt's yanking out, but first bed bass of the day for me. I'll take it. Let's let this girl go. And she can get back on her bed now. She's close enough, so shouldn't have disturbed what she's doing. Too much fun, man. Here she is. She's right off the corner of it. That's a male. Gosh, that's a The other that's one's a, big, yeah. That's a six pound fish. Look at that fish. Look at that damn thing. beast. Did you see her? Did you see her pick it up? She had it in her mouth. Oh, there's two right there. She took it off the bed. Good God, that's a giant. I just gotta make sure she's got it when I go to set the hook. I touched her. I touched her with it. Pick it up. Yep, she picked it up and just ran with it and never, never swallowed it. Out. May not get her no more. These biffle butt is just so meaty and beefy to stir stuff up. Got her. Got her? Got nice, it. Nice, dude, nice. That's a good Finally, fish. Finally, bro. <laughs> After about the 40th cast at this damn fish, she's picked it up like four or five times. Dude, nice fish. Come bro. off in the boat. Yeah, of course, man. There, she's not committing to it. Oh, God. She's like, I'm going to take your rods out with me. There it is. This is the female we've been chasing <laughs> for uh, about 15 minutes. She picked her bait up. That was probably the seventh time yeah. she picked it up. Great Finally stuck her. Great fish. Release right there. She can go back to doing her thing. Just probably now we more. need the now we need the big one with her. Yeah, where'd she go? So next time you're bed fishing, if you're having trouble realizing or feeling it when these bass are grabbing the bait, good tip I just picked up from Matt: switch to something white or super bright, so that way you can watch your bait, see it clearly, and you can see when she grabs it. I mean, Matt, one of the fish he caught a minute ago, 
you know, she kept grabbing it about, probably about five or six times, but you could see the bait hanging out of her mouth. You could tell she hadn't got it all the way in. So he knew that if he set the hook, he's just gonna spook her and not get a hook set. And then finally on maybe the seventh time she grabbed it, you saw it disappear all the way. He ripped the hook and got the fish in. So uh, if you're bed fishing, use a bait that you can see clearly. I don't think the, the color matters too much for these fish. They're not feeding or, or really holding to a pattern. They're just protecting their bed. So put something in there. It's gonna get, got a nice weight to it. Really gonna kind of unsettle that bottom, kind of piss her off and something bright so you can watch it and know when to set the hook. Good tip, man. I like that. Oh, dude, solid one too. What's that on the Senko? Yeah, cruising bass. On them, bro. Dude, that's solid fish. Nice one. Good little pre-spawner. Wacky Senko. Never fails. So how did you, like you're 22 and you, what, you own the processing company? I bought a deer processing facility called Deer Dynasty All two right. years ago from a fellow. I worked at it um, when I was in college. I'd come home from Christmas break and I'd do a little hunting. And when I wasn't hunting, I'd go over there and I'd skin deer. Yeah. The guy got to the point where he was ready to be done and offered it to me, so I went ahead and bought it. Well, that's impressive, man. Two years ago, you said? Two years when ago. you were 20? Yep. You enjoying it? Love it. Every minute of it. Is it just you and your girl, or? When deer season's in, I hire six or seven guys, usually high school kids. Yeah. Um, I go to Burns, which is a high school in Shelby, and get kids from the ag department, FFA. Yeah. And they'll come out and work on the weekends or nice. during their school breaks. That's impressive, man. I'm assuming you deer hunt yeah, quite oh yeah. a bit. <laughs> yeah, I deer hunt. When I can, you know, owning a deer processing place cuts in on your... I was about to say, yeah, I mean, that's your, your busy season, obviously. You guys process other stuff, too? Just deer. Just deer. And this past season, we did 1,152. Where can uh, people find you? You got a website? I don't have a website. I got a Facebook page. Facebook page, Deer Dynasty? Deer Dynasty, yep. Well, guys, if you're in... North Carolina, South Carolina, you need a deer processed. Deer Dynasty, look them up on Facebook. Can't tell if my line's moving or if that's us. Decent little guy. Yeah, they're all up under here. Nice little spotted bass. Well, nice is probably a strong word. See you, buddy. Up with the mouth. There we go. Look at this. Fish number six, spotted bass number six, off this one dock. All on wacky Senko. Oh, that's a good one, bro. <laughs> I got light line here. She rubbed me. We might want to grab the net for this one. I don't know that I can lift her. I left my line out. I'll probably turn around, my rod will be gone. <laughs> the way these fish are biting right here. Oh, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice, bro. One dock. That's the third good one we pulled out in the six fish total. Nice, dude. Look at the belly on her. She's fat. Heck yeah. Dude, we found like the magical dock here. Spotted bass sanctuary. Pick up my rod. I wouldn't be that surprised if- Might have one on it. I have one on it right now. <laughs> this is nuts. This is nuts. Something down there or some convergence of a ledge or this point, or I mean, there's some reason they're all here. Ooh, nice. Now I'm all like trigger happy. Yeah. <laughs> Number seven off the magical dock. Got another one. They're up in here and they're loving these wacky senkos. Nice. Right as I got done saying that wacky senko, Matt's got one on. He says a lot better fish. Spotted bass. They're stacked up under here. Oh, and I just got hit and missed it. Another good one. Every time I think there's no way there's any more bass in here, Matt sticks another one. Magical dock. Yep. Better fish. Stay down, stay down. Oh yeah. Ooh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Way better fish than I've been catching at least. <laughs> no, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Stop. Stop. There we go. That right there, I guarantee you, is my new personal best spotted bass. Right there. Yeah, I have not caught many spots in my life. I probably, I might have caught more spots today than I have in my whole life, actually. All right, well, definitely not catching up to Matt over here, but uh, kind of starting to figure something out. We found this dock, and there are a ton of these beautiful spotted bass sitting under it. We're basically skipping these weightless, wacky Senkos way up under there. It seems like the further I get it up under there, the better. This one, I skipped it all the way to the back wall. And sure enough, took a few seconds, but I saw my line start moving. 
I mean, you can't feel the bite, they're slacking your line, but you just see that line start moving or maybe see the line vibrate and uh, reel down, set the hook as hard as I could, and there she was. Let this girl go. Look at the colors on these spotted bass. I can always kind of tell just the second you see them, especially when they get a little bigger, they're just way prettier, way more colorful than largemouth, in my opinion. Got like a gold to them. Really, really pretty fit. Ow, it's biting me. And they are feisty. They're more fun than largemouth. They fly harder than largemouth, if you ask me. Matt agrees. That's a good time. Decent fish. I'm sitting there talking to you, wasn't even looking. I felt weight. Nice. Woo. Nice little spot through the sink out. It was just sitting there. I was sitting there talking to Matt, turned around, talking about how spots like this right next to the boat ramp often get overlooked under fish because everyone launches their boat. They don't want to run right here. They blast off and don't fish some of the best spots right by the ramp. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy the rest of your day. I don't know if you can see this little bass. There's one kind of right to the side. This is a bed right here. She's acting all fired up. Oh, wait. That's not the one I saw, dude. I saw the male. Dude. The dude. Okay, it's in there a hundred times. And Matt shows up. Bro. That's a good one. Bro. I don't know what you're doing different because I, I must have put that white crawl on that bed 30 times. Fat little chunk. I never saw that fish. I, I just pitched. I not even see the fish. I just pitched oh, in there. there it is. <laughs> oh, I don't even see it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh this fish? <laughs> this one on the end of my line? Matt, got the magic touch. It's all luck, man. It's all luck. Get out of here. It's all luck. If it was luck, it happened one time. This has been happening since this morning. Hey, you put me on that fish. I took your word for it that it was one on the <laughs> You're right. I did put you on that fish. I, had no I will. Idea I will take credit for that. I couldn't see it. I mean, it's basically like I caught it, really. Pretty much. I think that's how that works. Yeah, that's a big bass, dude. Oh yeah, I do. I see her. Got a bass right here on a bed. Good one. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Here's your kicker, buddy. That was awesome, dude. Oh, it's good. Dude, you coached me through that the whole way. Oh yeah, dude. She's this is a good one. Nice, dude. What's up? That's what I'm talking about. It's all day. Matt's been out fishing me, showing me the ropes. I learned a lot from this guy today, and there she is. Nice. Finally, a decent largemouth for Rob. Matt's been wearing them out. Dude, thanks for bringing me out, man. Enjoyed it. Man. What a blast, bro. Right Enjoyed here. Today. Sun's heading down. That is a perfect way to end a great day. How many fish do you think we got today? 25, maybe 30. 25, yeah, at least. Moss Lake, you guys. You're ever in uh, South North Carolina? Come check this place out. It is full of good bass, and this is a perfect time to be here, man. Oh, thank you, gal, for making my day right here at sunset. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let you go right here by your bed so you can get back to doing your thing. I'll even point you in the right direction. Oh, she pissed. <laughs> Woo! Oh, uh, super fun day out here. I, uh, ooh, he ain't done. He's like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, yap to the camera. I'm just gonna keep ripping lips over here. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Field Trips. Huge thanks to my boy Matt here for bringing me out here showing me a good time, putting me on some good fish, and I learned several new techniques and tricks for catching bass around the spawn. So far, my stay at Foothills Family Campground has been an absolute pleasure. Perfect way to kind of start off my time here in North Carolina, get a little feel for what's going on in the area, what the bass are doing. Uh, up next, I'll be fishing a couple rivers with my good buddy Brooks Betty from Jackson Kayak and Nakwa. Should be a good time, and now I've got kind of at least a clue as to what the bass are doing in this area. So thanks again, man, for sure. bringing me out. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Catch you on the next one. we got a little bit of light left, so we're going to make a few more casts, but uh, it was a good day. Oh, oh, we ain't done. Matt said, who's, who's done? You didn't make a sound. I like felt the wind from that hook set. Like right behind my head, I was like, oh. I knew you had a fish on. Nice, all day. On the white, 
crawl. Like, what is this, dude? I'm like, what are these fish thinking that this is? Albino crawfish? 